in this session we are going to see how to edit user account okay in our previous session we have worked on pending orders you can see this user is having only one pending order you have one pending orders now in next sessions we are going to see when we click on order details and we click on this my orders how the table should be displayed but in this session we are going to see how to edit the account okay below this pending orders we are having this edit account get variable will be active here Okay, now using this get variable, we are going to display this form here. I'll just come to welcome Khanam. Now you can see inside URL, I'm having profile.php. And when I click on this pending orders, I will be redirected to same file. Now when I click on this edit account, you can see this get variable is active and I am inside profile.php itself. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to check the condition. If this get variable is active, only then I have to display this form or else I should not display this form. And also in our previous session, we have written this entire function, get user order details function. And using this function, we got this count. Okay, this particular count, whatever we have displayed here, we got this count. Now what we are going to do, we are going to work on editing account. I'll just do control B and here I'm just going to create one new file. Inside users area, I'm just going to create one file. I'll just give the file name as edit account. Okay, whatever name you want, you can give. I'll just write here edit account.php. Now inside this, first I'm just going to write this basic boilerplate. Here I'll just change the title. I'll just write here edit account. If you don't write this basic boilerplate, then also it is going to work because we are including this file inside this profile.php. Now below this, let me just write one h1. I'll just write here edit account active. Okay, something only to show you. I'll save this. Now I'll come here. Now if I refresh this one, you can see my edit account is active, but here I'm not getting this heading. Whatever I have written here, that is not been displayed for me. So what I'm going to do here inside this profile.php, below this function, I'll just check for the condition if is set. Using this get method, I'm just going to access that variable. Okay, whatever variable I'm having here, I'm just going to copy this. And here I'm just going to paste what I'm telling if this particular get variable is set, then I have to include edit account in this container. Okay, in this container, I have to include this edit account file. So here I'll be writing include and here I'll just write edit account dot php. I'll save this. Now you can see my edit account is active. As soon as I refresh this one, whatever heading I'm having inside that one that is being displayed for me. Okay, this content is visible for me, edit account active, whatever I have written inside edit account.php, that content is visible. But if you notice here, this pending orders is also visible for me. Okay, let me just show you. Inside this demo project, when this is active, only this form is displayed. But for me, you can see here I'm having, you have one pending orders. Okay, so let me just check. Now we have written the code inside this functions.php and here we have set, okay, if this is not set, okay, let me just change the spelling. Here I'll be writing get, here also I'll just write here get and also here I'm just going to write get. I'll save this. Now if I just refresh this one, you can see only edit account details will be displayed for me. Now if I come to pending orders, here I'll be having you have one pending orders and the edit account is not displayed. And inside URL you can see here I'm having profile.php. Now when I click on edit account, only edit account, whatever data we are having inside that file that is being displayed because inside the URL, this variable is active. Now I'll just come to edit account.php. Now I'll just remove this one. I'll save this. Now if I just show you the output, you can see I don't have anything, but my edit account is active. Now in this file, we are going to write the code. First, let me just write here h3. For this first, I'll just give a text center. Okay, whatever stylings you want, you can give or else you can just skip the styling part. Text center, I'll just give the color as text to success so that my color will be in green color. Inside this, I'm just going to write edit account. Edit account, I'll save. I'll refresh this one. Now here I'm having edit account. Now for this, I'm just going to give some margin, margin bottom of four. Okay, so that when I create form, I need some spacing from the below. So here I'm just giving margin bottom of four. Now below this H3, I'm just going to create form. Action, I'm not going to give anything because whatever PHP code we are going to write, that we are going to write in the same file. 
so action i am just going to leave as it is here i'll be giving method method i'm just going to pass here post okay how we have done plenty of times while registering a user everything the same way i'm just going to pass method is equal to post and also we are going to fetch the image from the database and we will be changing the image from here so for that we have to add one more attribute that is nothing but ink type okay when we add this attribute we can insert multiple images we can insert the images the data which is not related to text that data also we can insert inside the database and for this we just have to write the value as multi part multi part slash form data okay this is the three attributes we are just going to pass action empty method is equal to post and ink type is equal to multi part form data for images now inside this form first i'm just going to create one div for this div i'll just give the class name as form outline okay this is bootstrap classes if you are not aware of this then you can just leave as it is and you can give your own stylings and for this i'm just going to give margin bottom of 4 so that when i create input list i don't want that input list to be stuck so i'm just giving some margin inside this i'll just create input type will be text and for this i'm just going to give the class class i'll just write here form control okay whatever class name you want you can give uh, let me just save this one and i'll just show you the output i'll refresh this you can see here i'm having this input field now it's taking complete 100% of this diff container which is having 10 column space okay let me just show you inside this profile.php for this diff container i have given column 10 so using this it is taking complete 100% of that now i'm just going to reduce the width width i'll just give here 50 okay now you can see it is taking 50% of the width now i want this in the middle so what i'm going to do i'm just going to add one more class that is margin auto okay as soon as we give margin auto it is going to divide the space equally between left and right now i'll refresh this you can see my input field has come in the middle now below this we are having this one okay this values whatever we are having here that we are going to see when we write the php code then below that i am having this email field i'll just come here i'll just copy the same diff container and for this input field i have to give one attribute this attribute is very important i'll just write here name name is equal to user username okay whatever name you want you can give i'm just writing here user username i'll just close this now again i'm just going to copy this one below this i'll just paste this now instead of type is equal to text i'm just going to write here email class will be same here i'm just going to write email okay, let me just write here user email Okay, rest everything will be same. I'll save this. Now I'll just refresh this one. You can see here I'm having another input field that is email, and here I'm having name field. Below this I'm having this image field. Let me just show you. Below this I'm having image, then I'm having address, and finally I'm having mobile number. So I'll just copy the same thing, and here I'm just going to paste. For images, we just have to give the type as file, and here I'm just going to write user image. I'll just write here user image. i'll save this now if i just refresh this one you can see here i am having this image then after that i just have to display this image as well okay later on we are going to see how to display that one then below that we are having address field i'll just copy this text from here and here i'm just going to paste and instead of this here i'll just write here user address and finally we are having mobile i'm just going to paste and here i'll be writing user mobile i'll save this now if i just refresh this one you can see here i am having totally five fields 1 2 3 4 and 5 then below that i am having one button that is update now from here i am just going to copy this input field let me just come here i'll copy this entire input field and below this div i am just going to paste that one type i'll just write here submit because we are going to submit the data inside the database so i'm just going to give the type as submit and inside this i'll just write here value value is nothing but update okay whatever text we are having inside the button i'm just going to pass that one class i don't need this i'm just going to remove because this is not the input field which is going to take 50% of the width i just want in the button form so here i'm just going to remove i'll just write, write the color uh, for this i'll just give the color as bg info i'll save this 
now i'll just refresh this one you can see here i'm having this button now this button i just want in the middle and also i'm just going to give some padding here i'll just give padding top and bottom i'm just going to give two and left and right i'll just write here three i don't need any border so i'm just going to give border to be zero i'll save this i'll refresh this one now you can see all the stylings has been applied now what i am going to do instead of this user mobile i'll just write here user register or user update user update and this button i just want in the middle so for this form for this form i'm just going to give the class here i'll just add the class class i'll just write here text center i'll save this i'll refresh this one now you can see here i am having this button in the middle you can do this one or inside this profile.php inside this diff container you can add the text center class i'll just add here text center i'll save this and from here i'm just going to remove this class okay only to show you okay even this will work i'll save now if i refresh this one you can see again i'm having the same output because this entire thing whatever i have written here that will be wrapped inside this diff container if i give text center for this one everything will come in the middle whatever content i am having here that will come in the middle once i give here i don't have to give here text center because we have already given text center for the parent so for each and everything we don't have to give okay it is going to work by default okay now we are done with creating the form next we are going to see how to write the php logic and also we are going to see how to display the image here now you can see we are having this image now inside this input field itself we are just going to display the image okay now we are having here image type is equal to file now below this i'm just going to create the image and inside src i'll just pass the path i'll just write here user image user images okay let me just check for the file path here i'm having user images user images and inside that here i'll be writing php code i just want to do echo echo user image i'll just close this and i'm just going to save this one let me just check i'll refresh this now you can see this image has come here because inside this profile.php we have already fetched the image okay you can see we have already fetched the user image we have stored inside this variable the same variable i am just passing here after passing this one when i include this inside this file this will be included inside this profile.php so whatever variables we are having here and whatever image we have fetched from the database that image will be displayed for me now for this image let me just come here now for this image i have added the class as let me just check for the class i have just added the class as profile image i'll copy this one and for this image i'm just going to add the same class class is equal to profile image i'll save this okay let me just check whether it is working or not now if i refresh this one okay it is not working because here it is taking 100% and for this diff container it is taking 100% so what i'm going to do i'm just going to change the image i'll just write here edit image i'll just copy this one okay you can write the stylings inside the same file or inside profile.php also you can write i'm just going to paste the image for this i'll just write here with with i'm just going to give here 100 pixel and height i'll just write here 100 pixel and also i'm just going to give object fit to be contain okay so that my image will not get squeezed i'll save this now if i refresh this one okay you can see it is working completely fine but this image and this input field i want side by side so for that inside this edit account okay this image and this input field these are wrapped inside this diff container now for this diff container i'm just going to give here display to be flex i'll save this as soon as i give this one this both the things will come in horizontal row but here you can see here this is taking complete 100 percent and here i'm having this input field and here i'm having this image so what i'm going to do i'll just come here now for this parent itself i'm just going to give this two classes i'll copy these classes i'll cut from here and inside this i'm just going to paste now i'll save this i'll just refresh this one now you can see it is working completely fine and also i'm just going to copy this class and here i'm just going to paste that one now i'll just refresh this now you can see here i'm having this input field 
okay this is how we are going to work okay based on your requirement whatever stylings you want whatever you want you can give next we are going to write the php code and whichever user is logged in that data should be displayed here and related to that this image should be displayed based on that we are going to display this data and once i click on this the data should be updated okay we are done with this creating the form next we are going to work with php logic